Hi y'all, this is Larry at Deep South Texas and today we're going to make a simple loaf of bread. If you're a beginner, this is the place to start. So the recipe I'm using today comes from another YouTube channel, Bake with Jack. Uh, I'll leave a, a link to his channel in the description below. I'll also leave a list of the ingredients. Um, Jack's from the UK, so his ingredients are in grams, but I'll try to convert them over to cups and teaspoons. And here are the ingredients. Seven cups of bread flour, three cups of water, two tablespoons of instant yeast, and that'd be the same as uh, two, pack, two small packages, if that's what you're using. We have uh, three teaspoons of salt and two tablespoons of oil. You can use vegetable oil or olive oil. I'm using sunflower oil. So the first thing we do is add our water to the mixing bowl. And then we add the yeast to the water. Get that all mixed in. Let that set for just a few minutes till that yeast dissolves. Now we add our seven cups of flour to the yeast and water mixture. We uh, sprinkle on the salt, and then put in the oil. And then we mix this up. It'll take a little bit to get the flour and water incorporated. And it's all mixed in. And now we're going to uh, turn this out onto a board and knead it. Now, I'm supposed to knead this for eight minutes. I'm usually probably going to get tired before my eight minutes are up, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So about halfway through the kneading process now. Occasionally you got to get your scraper in here, scrape up some of this dough that's uh, sticking to the board, and just uh, continue on kneading. So we've been kneading this for eight minutes now, so now we're just going to let it rest for three minutes. And uh, we'll throw a cloth over that and we'll come back in three minutes. So we've let our dough set for uh, three minutes. Now we're going to start shaping it a little bit, put a little bit of flour on the top.
Then we're going to turn it over. Flatten it out a little bit. And uh, start trying to shape it into a ball. Just grab an end and fold it over. Until you're happy with that ball shape. Then we're going to take it, put it back in our bowl, sprinkle a little bit more flour on top, and we're going to cover that and let that rise for one hour. So our dough has been rising for an hour and it looks like it's uh, come up pretty well. So yeah, I'd say that that's risen. Now. I'm going to uh, take this out and divide it into two pieces. We're making two loaves. Put a little bit of dusting of flour on here again. And uh, go around the edge here. Hopefully it will fall out a little bit better. There we go. Just spread that out a little bit. And we're going to divide this into two pieces. Hopefully they'll be even pieces, but I don't think it matters. All right. Now we're going to uh, pre-shape our loaves. Just go around the edge, and fold it up into the middle until we get the round shape we're looking for. Actually, we are going to cook these in, uh, in tins, but uh, this pre-shaping part here do that to help it uh, stick together a little bit to hold its hold its shape and hold its tension so that it rises better in the pan Now, set those off to the side, give another little sprinkling of flour. And we'll let those rest for 15 minutes. So our dough has been resting for 15 minutes. And now it's time to do the, the final shaping. A little bit of flour on that surface there.
Turn that over on the top. And uh, press that down a little bit with your fingertips. over kind of at an angle each side kind of a triangular shape what we're uh, shooting for is the bottom of that triangle to be about the size of that loaf pan I think we'll be okay with that. Creating more tension on the top of the loaf. A little bit more flour on top. Get that uh, bottom seam all pinched in real good. Get some flour on that, some flour on the all the sides. And then this goes into the loaf pan. And the loaf pan has been, uh, has been buttered. So it won't stick. And that goes in the loaf pan. And we let that rise for an hour. Now we do the same thing with this other one. Get that flipped out. Fold that over. Fold this over. Punch it down a little bit. And roll it up. Get that seam all sealed up. more flour along the sides and then this one goes into the loaf and there they are and we'll let these rise for another hour in about a half an hour, I'll start preheating the oven to uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So my bread has been uh, rising for an hour. It's uh, looking really good. It's filled out those uh, loaf pans real well. They are ready to go in the oven. And uh, the oven has been preheated to 400 degrees. So let's get these in the oven. There's one. And there's the other one. Now these uh, will bake for 40 minutes. I'm actually going to check them at 35 to see how they're doing. Uh, I didn't put any uh, water in the oven to create any steam. What I'm looking for is uh, Sandwich bread, not real crusty bread, so looking forward to them coming out in 35 to 40 minutes. Well, it's been 40 minutes. It's time to get this bread out of the oven.
and it looks pretty good. Let's get these out on the drying rack. Or a cooling, a cooling rack. Okay. They come right out. They sound like they're done. Well, once they get cooled down, I think that's going to make uh, some pretty nice sandwich bread. Oh, and I do want to brush the tops with a little melted butter here to make sure that they uh, stay nice and soft. Well, our bread has cooled down. It's time to uh, get a slice and see what it tastes like. Well, there it is. It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I think that'll make great sandwich bread. Let's uh, butter a slice and give her a taste. It's great. It's great. That's going to make uh, great sandwich bread here for the family. Turned out just perfect. So if you're not uh, into bread baking and you want to try, this recipe is the one to try. It's fairly simple. Um, the loaves look just wonderful, you know. Couldn't be happier with the results. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.